Like, I, mean, I think my energy levels are pretty good for like a man my age, but yeah, there's this time. Yeah, I like, mean, I can power through. Like, you just notice it a little bit. Yeah, there's something where the youngest I tell me, look, man, I'm yeah, yeah. not like 19. Yeah, you, you're kind of yeah. like I'm not saying, yeah, you can still power through it, but it's like, okay, it's, it's, it's just you have to turn on the jets a little bit. Uh, you can feel it. Anyway, uh, Adam, the peak of physical conditioning himself. Uh, how are you doing, man? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me, Ethan. Thomas, nice well, to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Adam. What are your thoughts? Trump just got removed from the uh, ballot there in Colorado, by the way, like 15 minutes ago. Oh, I had not seen that. Right. There's um, there's going to be a real legitimacy problem. I mean, there already is, in my opinion. It's not critical yet. There's not going to be some kind of punctuated revolt. I think the only way this regime is going to sustain any kind of credibility is all if they swap Biden out for somebody else. Um, it was really, really, really stupid for them to install Biden in the first place. Like, there's a right way and a wrong way to fix an election. You don't fix an election by taking a guy who's like a decades long punchline in Washington and declaring that, like, he's the greatest political figure ever. And by while not campaigning, he overcame every bellwether indicator. I mean, like, this is not, this is not how you fix an election. Like, basically, if like what the data, is, I mean, I realized there was no election. It was just like this kind of, um, it was just kind of this months long collection of ba unauthenticated ballots by direct solicitation in some cases. But you know, if you're going to do it that way, like claiming that like Biden like outperformed FDR, JFK, Ronald Reagan, and Barack Obama uh, while not campaigning and refusing to debate, I mean, that that that's what we call preposterous beyond belief. You know, there's a, the competency crisis is no more, is felt no more um, severely than I think among these Washington insects. It's like Biden and the Democrats are just the epitome of corruption and ineptitude. And it's got everybody just seeing how bad things really could be if we don't have our savior Trump get back in the, into office, the only guy that can save us from World War III and take out the deep state. And well, I yeah, think they're doing they're doing basically everything wrong to like, you know, Trump would have been a one. First of all, Trump was totally beatable in 2016. Like you're literally mentally ill. If you think Hillary Clinton was a good candidate, she was the most hated political figure of the last of the last 50 years. But I mean, so like any like a, a talking dog could have beaten Trump in a general election. But if for whatever reason, like he that didn't happen, if they just ignored Trump and kind of made him look like a shithead when they did report on him. You know, basically, he would have come across as a guy with not a lot of substance and like whatever, whatever momentum he did have, which was genuine. And that was pretty impressive considering he did not have a, tra a traditional ground organization. I take my hat off to him. I'm not saying anything negative about how he campaigned, but he, the guy was like eminently beatable. And like he, he's like this, he's like this evil, unstoppable genius to these motherfuckers because like that's how basic they are. <laughs> like these, these people can fuck up a cup of coffee. And like, and like they're ace in the hole. It's like Joe fucking Biden. It's like, oh my God. Like you're not, they're not sending their best or rather their best do not exist or their best, their best are like very, very low energy motherfuckers. Um, well, just uh, thinking about this Colorado thing, you guys just brought it to my attention, but it looks like Trump lost Colorado already. Biden got 55% of the vote to Trump's 41. I mean, supposedly there was no vote. I mean, that was Robert Cahalley's point. Like a months long, um, um, like a, a months long um, ballot collection effort isn't an election. It's a public opinion poll with poor metric, with poor and unreliable metrics. Well, you know? for, for I, me, it's not that he. So somebody in chat said, "Well, he's going to lose Colorado anyway." No, it's not that. It's a it's a new level of political warfare. Uh, it's I, a bad I agree. sign for the constitution and the I, I republic. Didn't. If you want to, well, you care also, about those you, sorts of things, by the way. So you know, like, I didn't get to finish my point. Though. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. That's just my it, thought. It, ahead, yeah. it was like a, a two part thing. I'm saying, like, he already lost Colorado. So, but all I see the big picture, this type of persecution and targeting Trump. It's just going to mobilize his base. It's going to uh, inspire people to get uh, go register to vote. This type of targeting, how it looks like it's all so rigged against them and the deep states after them and and uh, you know the left is so corrupt. It's like I think ultimately this type of thing. Anytime they they come after Trump like this, it makes it gets him more support. It oh, raises yeah, them more Trump's money. One hundred percent why Trump's still in the game is because they're so basic. They've they've made him like a sympathetic figure and it's. And you don't if you're like if you're indicting the front runner to prevent him from running for office, I mean that's 
That's that's like that's like that's like on the level of like sub-Saharan African politics. I mean, it's it's like it's it's fucking it's a it's a joke. But mm -hmm. the um so then Tommy Metzger pointed out, you know how just like one like California wasn't just um a red state; it was literally like the Republican heartland. In over 120 years, it went blue like all of two times, and then just like one day, it's declared, oh, California is a safe blue state because Mexicans. That that makes no sense. Like we're not just talking we're not talking about a swing state. We're not talking about a state that, you know, you had blue dog Democrats and like generally like went Republican. It's not Ohio. It is literally the Republican heartland of the United States. Then just like one day they're a blue state. This is not contestable and it's just no longer in contention. Oh, and there's not a single person that Californians prefer other than Nancy Pelosi. They don't want some guy in aerospace. They don't want some like young Latino guy who's gonna like give out entitlements. They just love Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. I and Feinstein. And Feinstein. Don't forget Feinstein. Yeah, they're just senator and congresswoman for life. You know, because California loves it. California mm -hmm. prefers them to any other possible delegate or candidate. Like, I don't, like, this stuff mm -hmm. is not credible anymore. California didn't just one day become a safe blue state that is now, like, insurmountably blue. That's not how politics works. So I don't, I don't buy for a second. They're like, oh, you know, Trump mm -hmm. can't win Colorado. It's like why you you collected you collected votes like written on cocktail napkins over the last year and you have more that say Biden than Trump. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I can it's, I can it's probably I can, like Denver outvoting all the rest of the state. But there's no voting. Like, that's my point, though. Like mail, mailing and unauthenticated ballots isn't voting. It's ballot collection. And I, um, I I'll agree with you. I think they're basically selections as well. The first time I went to vote was in 1996. Here's what happened. You'd go to the polling place. They'd say, do you have an ID? You'd give them an ID. They'd say, do you have a voter ID card? You'd give them that. Sign here. Let me compare that to the signatures on both of those cards. Okay, let me authenticate it. Okay, this man's going to want you to go into that booth over there. And he's going to want you to come out of that booth over there. All right, that's an election. Okay, like saying that we're going to solicit written ballots that can't be authenticated for months is not an election. It's a public opinion poll. And even if even and even if these things could be authenticated, an election takes place on one day. It's not the man over months, you know, who can edge out his opponent in the court of public opinion. It's on that day and that day alone. It's an any given Sunday thing. OK, um, that's that's the only way you can get an accurate reading of the express political will and the active engagement of the electorate in that process. Anything else is not legitimate. This is not just formalities. So no, there Biden Biden did not get elected. Biden 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 withdrew in 1988 with 1.3 fucking percent. The guy's unelectable. When John Anderson, uh, when Reagan, you know, on what killed Carter in 1980, he refused to debate John Anderson. And people said, like, what the fuck is this? The incumbent president's like not willing to go on the campaign trail. Reagan said, I don't care if I, I don't care if Anderson's an outlier. I don't care if you don't like third parties. I'm going to debate Anderson. So I'll debate Anderson Carter. I'll debate anybody, anywhere, any state in this union. And that's what put Reagan in office. There's no possible way Biden overcame every bellwether indicator from his basement without appearing publicly. That's not possible. That's literally so who do you impossible. think is groomed for 2024 then? Who's, who's going to be selected since voting doesn't matter? I don't know, but they've got to swap out Biden or they're going to have a problem. Because it's just not it's not remotely credible anymore. And if you, if they're going to like keep indicting Trump either to bankrupt him or to see that he's um in some sort of detention on election day or election months or whatever, they're not they're going to have a credibility problem that can't be surmount, surmounted. They've got to they've got to pick up somebody younger. They've got to pick up somebody you know who actually can be can appear in public and can actually like present himself in a way that is is acceptable. And, uh, you know, they've got to, like, basically turn his, like, faux campaign into some, like, reality TV show, okay? That's how you rig an election. You don't do it by just declaring Biden is president because Trump is bad. And Biden somehow is, like, the greatest political figure who ever lived, even though he cannot control his bowels. He, he, he overcame bellwether indicators, not even FDR could, from his basement while shitting himself. That's not going to fly. Okay. So you, you think it's going to be... Go I'm ahead. sorry. Go ahead. Ethan. No, you go ahead. No, you go ahead. We'll talk uh, Israel and Christianity some here in a minute too, though. But mm -hmm. yeah, give your thoughts there. Well, it, it seems to me like it, it's going to be Trump back in. And can you can you guys imagine how crazy all the QAnon people are going to go when Trump gets back in and Kushner's back in with them? 
and they're trying to still a factor like i'm genuinely asking like i i I was around Mm -hmm. i was on baltimore in the district you know in 2021 then 2022 21 i was there on january 6. i ran across them guys and they seemed very unhinged but I, I've never, I don't like fuck with those people just like generally. And I, I don't really see them here on the ground. Like, are, they, are do they have like numbers? Are they like, do they have clout? I'm asking honestly because I don't know. Yeah, they get way more numbers than uh, me and Ralph do. I, okay, I know. <laughs> I, I'm sure that's right. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot. No, they do. I mean, they're, pretty, they're still. Yeah, go ahead. No, you go, no, I was no, just, go ahead. I was just, no, I was just saying they're still out there. Um, you know, they still uh, yeah, older. I, okay. but, yeah, yeah. And just wait till Trump gets back in too, how much they'll come back strong. No, no, I, I, and I, I'm sure some of those guys are well intentioned, man. I'm not trying to say bad things about them, even though I think that a lot of their stuff is, you know, cringe, obviously, and just crazy. But, mm-hmm. but that's the kind of thing that develops when you don't properly finesse. I mean, elections are always fixed to some degree, but again, there's like a right, you know, it's like Boss Tweed said, like, no, never is it more important to maintain the appearance of normalcy as when you're breaking the law. <laughs> like, you don't, know, you don't do crazy things. You don't indict the front runner. You don't declare some like universally despised, doddering old fucking Washington bag man is this great politician. You don't, you don't, you don't occupy the district with a bunch of dumpy fucking na- like national guardsmen. Indi- and- indict him four times and like ban all of his uh, supporters yeah. from the internet. Yeah, you don't. That's not how you do it. I mean, you're basically inviting a legitimacy crisis by doing that. You know, I mean, it, it's it's a joke. But um, yeah, no, it's anything like QAnon. I should probably, I should probably um, like people said on the pod. Like you should have some like queuing on people, and I'm like, I'd rather not do that, man. Because I not not because I, I mean, I, I I've talked to some pretty disreputable people. It's only it's, it's, it's nothing to do with like <laughs> that, but it's um, I don't, it's not really my wheelhouse. But you know, it is uh, regardless of what anybody thinks of them. I mean, if they're if they if they remain a significant, you know, kind of if they have significant momentum still, I mean, yeah, that's a factor, absolutely. Well, just think about all the people that were like at the Jericho march and at Stop the Steal. In right, January right. six, like the Christian Zionist, Christian nationalist, QAnon, like right, right. You know, all the Christian Zionist around Trump and his biggest supporters, Flynn, he was kind of dabbling with QAnon. And the, That's their- the impression I got, he's a very strange guy. I mean, a lot of military yeah. brass are, are pretty weird, frankly, but he seemed even like one step beyond that. He's a he's a he's a very strange guy. Like I've never met him. I'm saying just <laughs> obviously. I mean, I'm saying just well, he, that's just the vibe I got from him. Yeah, I, I understand. It's going to be really interesting that Netanyahu back in power and their conflict over in Gaza right now, and and Trump, Trump and Kushner could be back in and just over a year from now back in office. That's entirely and, possible. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'd put be, big money on it. No, I, I think you may well be right. Um, so we're going to see like a, a you know the King of Israel, Trump, who gets all the top Zionist awards. We're going to see him back in, probably being more zionist than ever and it's no, like zionism really point, and anti-semitism man. are just going to be right at the cultural forefront of everything well you see that's a really good point man like this gaza thing um yeah that might have given trump new life and frankly like of the tribe that'd be like the best way for them to try and neutralize what ha- does amount to a basically kind of popular disgust like with their with their politics and their optics mm-hmm. you know i mean that's actually yeah if they had their well, that's the thing, though. Like one of the reasons you, one of the reasons why you hand the executive to the Republicans or to like the conservative or whoever passes for like the respectable right is to neutralize things that you need to neutralize. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't just. You, I mean, yeah, ab- absolutely. That's a very interesting. Remember, remember when Trump said that he's going to be their retribution? Like th- they want him because of all the corruption and the censorship and the you know the lying media and the sketchy elections and, and all of that. Uh, the politically uh, targeting him and stuff that he's going to bring retribution. They're going to be desperate for him to go like rule with an iron fist and have a mandate to like really be harsh because and of like, all this and, like, stuff. And, like stand yeah. on business with Israel at all costs. And yeah, some like, I mean, that was basically what the, that was basically the tribe was trying to do with Nixon. I mean, obviously like the stakes were great, were greater than globally because of uh, the, the, the nature of the conflict I had using the cold war, but that's why, that's why Brute Korf like stood with Nixon to the end, Rabbi Brute Korf, because he's like, look, like if, if push comes to shove, like it did in '73, like even though like Nixon doesn't like us, but owing to owing to what's become the Nixon um, doctrine, you know, like he will he will stand against the Red Army, like in the Near East, if it comes to that, you know, even even if it means even if it comes to nuclear war, yeah, no, that's a very good point. Now you mentioned Israel. Uh... 
what are your thoughts on uh, what's going over there, uh, going on over there recently, Adam? We talked to Ryan Dawson uh, about it recently. Then I'll get, I'll hear from Thomas on that too. But what are your your thoughts on what's going on? How much longer do you think the campaign is going to go? Um, is I think is it's going to drag out until Trump gets back in. Really? Mm -hmm. Man, see, you know, I made a prediction. I don't think it's going to go longer than two more months. I just don't see how. Now that's kind of a still a long time, mm -hmm. uh, actually. But well, I, I think they're going to completely wipe out Gaza and take Gaza. And then maybe the only thing that they, they, they can uh, save face is if they pretend to try to work with the West Bank and have some type of a peace deal with Trump and Kushner when he gets back in. I, I could see so not, not that that will materialize, but they'll, yeah, oh, we're going to finish the job. You know, tr Trump has been talking about peace between uh, Israel and Palestine for decades. He made it his big thing with Kushner that, you know, they're going to bring peace to the Middle East. So I definitely see that on the table when he gets back in. So you don't think there's any chance that the Biden, you know, Biden caught an indiscriminate bombing last week. They try to make a big deal out of that, at least. I mean, that is pretty bad statement. That's not good mm -hmm. to hear, right? Uh, yeah. And so, which we already more knew that. We more knew that was happening, Trump's by the way. I'm just saying the White House saying that, you know, uh, raised a lot of eyebrows. Uh, is there a chance that the United States basically forces Israel to stop uh, at some point? That's kind of what I'm banking on. But I could be that maybe that's crazy thought, honestly. I think we'll hear more of the narrative that uh like biden you know biden and the democrats they funded iran with the six billion they're responsible for this or they're tying netanyahu's hands or yeah. they're not supporting enough or they weren't you know they were what biden just said here a, a little being a little critical i think all that just is gonna make the zionist support sway more over to trump and uh you know people's people's support of trump over more the, the israeli lobbies support more to the republicans if biden is saying anything like that yeah. Well, uh, we'll see. Uh, what a, what Trump do you think about when, hold, when, go, Sorry, go, when go Trump got the uh, Torah Crown Award from, I think, <laughs> the Ultra Orthodox Hamadic I mean, Hamadic when you describe him as Zion Don, basically, I mean, I can't really disagree mm -hmm. with that. I guess my only thought is, I mean, they're all Zion Dons, really. Like, I, I don't know. I know, uh, but he's so. he gets all the top awards. But anyway, they said there, Trump promised all of them when he got the Torah Scroll Award that <laughs> uh, Israel won't exist if they don't get Trump in, basically. That's the promise he's making them. Go ahead, Thomas. Any thoughts on that? The problem, Netanyahu opted for the worst possible course in political and military terms. If you're going to act severely and if you're going to sue for war in a total capacity, you have to do it immediately. Otherwise, uh, it's not politically viable. If the tribe was going to ethnically cleanse Gaza, they had to do it immediately. Okay, when the wound was fresh, when there was enough outrage, if you want to look at it like that, in the global north about this propaganda coming out about, you know, what was being done to the civilian population and particularly, you know, female noncombatants and things. Netanyahu had to act then. Now that's off the table. Instead, what Netanyahu, instead what Netanyahu did, he dropped a bunch of unrelenting hard talk and then he didn't do shit. Okay, then you know, I was a bitch. He's got nothing. What's going to happen long term? Israel is going down. It's not going to happen in a week. It's not going to happen in a punctuated capacity. There's not going to be something like Hamas and Sieg. But Zionism no longer is a context. Okay, it's this bizarre pastiche of like early 20th century state socialism like contrived like racialism that the Jews tried to apply to themselves that in their case doesn't really make any sense. This whole narrative of Nuremberg, we're like, oh, World War II was about, you know, these evil fascists who just targeted us for biological annihilation. Nobody believes in that anymore. Okay. And even people might have been susceptible to believing that there's, there's no context to it anymore. It might as well have happened a thousand years ago. Okay. Um, so that, so that's over. All right. Um, Israel is going to become like South Africa, but there's going to be an, what we might think of politely. I mean, I'm trying to euphemize as much as I can because I don't know like what sort of censorship terrorism you're being available to. In interface zones where Jews and Muslims and Christians and non-Jews live on top of each other, there's going, to, there's going to continue to be warfare to various intensities. It's going to be a Ross and Krieg, okay, in a permanent capacity. But this, this concept of Israel is a Jewish racial state we can exclude anybody we want and corral them into essentially what amounts to, you know, a giant camp. And we can seal our border off anytime we feel existentially threatened by another race. That's over with. 
That's done. That's my take. What do you think about that, Adam? Is Israel on the way out relatively soon? As an idea, as it exists now, I guess. Uh, I'd like to think so. I would like to think so, but I, I'm not that optimistic. I feel like, if anything, America is going to be ultimately blamed for the support of Israel. I think very likely the, the war could eventually escalate some more if, when the, as they continue to kill more Palestinian children. And, you know, Thomas, I got to disagree with you. You said Netanyahu like, hasn't done anything. Like, I, I'm seeing uh, bombed Palestinian kids every day all over the Internet. So he's killed thousands of kids. I and it's different, it's different than the last 50 years. How? Well, it's a whole not. lot more in a small amount of time. No, it's not. Look at 2000. Look at 1973. Look at 1967. Look it was at Lebanon. Almost 25, 24 years ago. And 10 years ago and 5 years ago and 15 years ago and 17 years ago. Look, mm -hmm. look. You know what you'd have to do to pacify Gaza? Mm -hmm. You'd have to go in there in depth. You'd have to kill everybody, regardless of age, sex, or overall health, who was either affiliated with Hamas, who was under arms, was fighting aid and comfort to Hamas, you'd have to turn into a giant pinkville and kill everybody. Everybody. If you think that that's politically viable now, you're not in touch with the reality. That's not remotely viable. And if you think that the IDF could find the men who would do that at scale, you're you're not in touch with the reality. They're not there. And if you think that the U.S. Army is going to mobilize uh, whatever its rapid reaction element is now, I don't know if it's striker brigades or some combination of the United States and division. If you think American forces are going to be able to deploy to Gaza, identify Hamas, kill all of them, kill every Hamas sympathizer, occupy it, prevent ingress by Syrian, Iranian, or Houthi elements perennially, preserve Israel as a racial state perennially, that's not remotely possible. That's no more possible than Ukraine defeating the armed forces of the Russian Federation, chasing the Russian army into Russian territory, annihilating it, occupying Moscow, preventing its ability to reconstitute. Like these, like these things America thinks it's going to do, like are, are are a fantasy. These things are just not going to happen. There's not the political will. There's not the forces in being. There's not the there's not the political capability because now the electric eye is everywhere. Um, it's just not going to be tolerated, and and nobody is going to take that step. Um, it's it's done. It's done. I'd like to think that like Israel's not going to continue to be tolerated, but they've been tolerated. They've gotten away with a lot. They've got a pretty impressive record, you know. Uh, th their their religion conquered many nations of of the world. They've uh, survived in exile and returned to rebuild their their homeland. They're a rising power and in, in technological superpower and has you know a lot of influence within America. So. They're universally despised on this planet. They're a tiny country who has made the enemies of a billion people. They're shit. They're nothing. They're nobody. They're indoor gypsies who are racial, racially genocidal towards everybody else. They're the most hated people on this planet. You're talking about them like the Soviet Union of 1960. They're shit. Well, I agree definitely that they're the racists and uh, your sentiments about it, but... Uh, do you think the question is, is America, how far is America willing to continue defending them and ruining our reputation and getting the world to hate us for backing them and uh, vetoing the ceasefires and the resolutions against Israel, the UN and all the international communities? How much more? Don't you feel like our Zionist lapdog politicians are willing to go down uh, it, it, all the way to the end for Israel? And they are going down. America's a joke. America's a fucking joke. They can be taking America seriously. It's a fucking joke. Like when people talk about America like it's a superpower, it's like that's, it's not, it, it, that's not reality. You know, it's like rhetoric. You know, it's like when people are like, it's going to be World War Three in Ukraine. It's like, okay, you're telling me Joe Biden can put in a call to Berlin, say, mobilize the Bundeswehr. We're going to assault with armored columns the Russian army. We're going to deploy chemical and nuclear weapons if necessary. We're going to assault the Russian army in Russia. And if they don't capitulate, we're going to occupy Moscow and destroy their ability to reconstitute. That is what it would take to win the Ukraine war. The odds of that happening are the same odds of me going to play quarterback in the NFL tomorrow. It's fantasy. It's literal fantasy. These people are talking literal shit. Uh, Israel, Israel is not. Israel is not. Who, gonna, who is saying that we're going to occupy Moscow? Who, like, who that's what it would, people, That's what it would take to win the Ukraine war. 
Oh, okay. So to nobody's actually Israel, saying, saying that, but you're just saying like that's what it to would To win in Israel, again, mm -hmm. at scale, Gaza would have to be invaded. Everybody who is at all regardless of age, sex, overall health, that includes small children, that includes women, that includes old people, you'd have to keep doing that until Hamas ceased to exist. You then have to destroy any Hezbollah element adjacent to Hamas. You would then have to destroy any Syrian Arab army element adjacent to Hamas. You would then have to assault Syria. You would then have to assault Iran if this continued to be, if this continued, if, if these kinds of ingresses continued to such a degree that they could threaten not just the territorial integrity of Israel, but also its, you know, its ability to defend in depth, whatever that means, you know, according to its frontiers. Okay. Um, you'd be talking about a campaign that would take probably a million men probably 50,000 combat troops, you know, it just like endless bloodshed, you know, like this, the idea that these things are viable is crazy. Like that's we've not already viable. had a lot. Of, oh, sorry. We've already had so much bloodshed and it's like, they don't, they don't need all the soldiers. They could just bomb every square inch of Gaza and, uh, you know, put water or gas or whatever down all the tunnels and, and just occupy all of it. They say they're like celebrating and dancing around selling, saying they want to, you know, uh, turn it all to glass and and take it back, and they're yeah, putting what, up their flags over there and stuff. The I can see it happening. They know, you think they wouldn't annex Gaza? They the would time to do it. that. The time to do that is past. And again, I don't think the Jew is like this ten foot tall Superman like you do. Like they're not like Israel That's can't like wave its hand and wipe out a billion people. And its enemies constitute a billion well, people. They've got no Islam has a billion people in it. They they annex the Golan Heights. They, you want know, to know why? You want to know why the Camp David Accords were signed? And and hold on, I don't like I don't like the mischaracterization and the di the condescending dig that I think that they what do you say? You I told think me Israel's a tall? rising superpower that is conquering the they're world. Not? You, you, they're not a technological superpower. It's one that's of the most your advanced words. military. That's literally your words. They don't have some of the best uh, nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons are obsolete. Like who, they, they don't have spy what, networks possible, all over the world. What possible conflict scenario would there be a nuclear exchange today? How would that even develop? They're they're useless in today's conflict paradigms. So you don't think they were ever using that? That these are just kind of like tactical pieces. In the in the Cold War, they were utile. Yeah, that's decades obsolescent. What what are you gonna do? You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna launch nuclear strikes ten miles from Tel Aviv because that that's because the enemy lives there. I mean, like <laughs> like that's that doesn't seem. Yeah, I mean, well, you're saying they're not like a powerful country though. They're not. They're not. Really? They're the spot. They're a despised minority that's managed to co-opt the political processes of a failing superpower that is a world that is that, that has become a world punchline. You think, you, think, you think anybody abides like America's demands? We're, we're sanctioning Russia. Like you know, we're we're drawing a line in the sand. Okay. Again, is America going to deploy? To, is America going to deploy to Germany, assault Russia with armored columns, and use chemical weapons against uh, the op for if necessary? No. You think Russia cares when America like sputters about this bullshit? America's a fucking joke. Well, I agree that we are a joke the way we're such slaves to Israel and all of our Christian Zionist politicians that go and bow down and think they're God's chosen people. Yeah, that's why we're a joke. Exactly. Exactly. A point of agreement. But but I see I see their their plan is like Anonymous they don't care they will milk america and destroy it and we will go down defending them but that doesn't mean that israel's not a rising power and they return to their land and they got a lot of influence on one of the most powerful countries but it's in not the world. their land israel's a fiction it's a bunch of it's dead language revival like 19th century racialism it's bullshit. that's why it's dying it's dying okay and again this idea that israel is going to get the upper hand on a billion people on this planet and that, no, I don't think know, they'll get the upper hand. I think that, that maybe they'll just their actions could lead to a major conflict with America, and Iran, happening. and Russia and China jumping in. And it's already happening, and that's why they're going down. They're in the place South Africa was mm -hmm. under P.W. Botha. Everybody hates them. They have no mandate. They have no longer have a narrative to substantiate their claim of right. They're dead. They're done. There is Israel is done. That's why they're doing what they're doing. They want to be done. Or you're no, saying they're acting in an emergency capacity because they're acting in an emergency capacity because they're not in the position that they were even 20 years ago, where not only do they have the capacity to defend themselves, but they have basically the bulk of the population that they were even 20 years ago, where not only do they have basically the bulk of you know the global north behind them, at least grudgingly, but they also had a strategic paradigm that was manageable. It's no longer manageable. They've got a demographic crisis. They're dying as a race. They're dying as a political culture. They're do you not, think they'll go down without the Samson option, though? 
Okay, so I mean, even if they, even if even if that happens, so what? Israel still goes down. Israel goes down and takes a couple million people. They're still done. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, do you care at all if America collapses and in, in his financial collapse? You know, war stuff. Not, like not, that? not, not, not particularly. Are I mean, you, why, why do you fuck about this regime? It's the enemy of my people. Are you are you American? I'm white and Christian, and I live in an I live in an occupied regime, and that my people tried to take down in 1861, and that since 1933 has been like an overtly dollars. Zionist country. Why would I give a fuck about it? I know. Um, I get that you don't give a give a fuck about it, but I'm saying I'm just asking: Are you an American? I'll, I'll, I'll I don't know fine. if you're my an American people, or not. I'm just, I'm just I'll, I'll, be, I'll be fine. My people will be fine. Now he identified uh, as a Christian first. That leads into one of the topics I was going to bring up: uh, the role. Of, you know, it's around Christmas. Did he say he uh, was Christian or America was Christian? He said he was. Oh, but well, uh, yeah, he, did, he was talking about himself. Um, we, I was going to bring up the. It's around Christmas. Why not start some shit uh, about Christianity? Uh, because it's the Christmas uh, holiday, uh, celebrating Christ. Uh, what are your thoughts on the role of Christianity uh, in American society, Adam? In American society, obviously, well, you can do not, world too if you want, okay. but, but, or just Christianity in general. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Thomas, role, are you familiar with some of my takes on Christianity? No. Oh. Okay. Well, I basically believe that the Gospels and Jesus, the story of Jesus in the Bible, is mythological, and it's basically just a story written from the Old Testament scriptures picking and choosing here and there from Daniel, Zechariah, Isaiah, Psalms, and they kind of fabricated, constructed a narrative fulfilling different prophecies. And then Paul, the pagan apostle, targeted the Gentile world to get them to achieve the goal of Judaism and the Torah, to get the nations to abandon their pagan idol worship and worship the God of Israel. And that was the role of the Moshiach, to conquer the nations, have dominion over the nations. So in a nutshell, that's what it is, that Christianity is Torah messianism and its theological conquest over the nations for the God of Israel. I mean, that makes zero sense, but I mean, you can believe whatever you want. Some people believe in Scientology, you know. Okay, well, great. how doesn't it make sense? What part that. of it's wrong? Well, first of all, there's a, if you don't believe that Christ existed, you don't believe Aristotle existed. I didn't say that. Hold on, I didn't say <laughs> that. I said the Jesus of the Bible, the stories of Jesus in the Bible, doing all these miracles, fulfilling all of these prophecies. I'm saying that's fiction. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's a Jewish take. So yeah, you're making you're mixing some <laughs> pagan weirdo and a Jew. No, it's not. The Jewish take is the Christian take because it was started all by Jews. That must be why. Well, you don't understand what Jews are then. It's being Jews, I you definitely bad, understand you, you what Jews are. DNA. Like you act like a Jew, but you don't know what they are. Uh, I know what they are. Mean, it doesn't mean you have bad DNA. It means you reject I didn't say they have bad Christ. DNA. I never said that. Finish, one at a time. One at a time. Where did I? Did I say anything about bad DNA? Like, I didn't. Yeah, you said it. You said bad Jews, words Jews in my started mouth Christianity. Like that. Okay, Christianity is, is. The, Christianity is literally the repudiation of Judaism. Christ okay, is Logos it's repudiated. The opposition in Christ is Logos what? repudiated. Christ is Logos repudiated oh, Judaism. Guys who say that we naturally should worship little shrines to Odin or like the rain god. I, I didn't say that. Either. That's what paganism is. And paganism is and not. It, and it, paganism is just any and religion think, that doesn't um, not and the think, God and of Israel. Think, and, if think, and if you think that Jews benefited in Christianity, like that, that's so bizarre. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's like okay, saying. Well, let me explain it. Do you, yeah, have you never right. you've never seen me talk about it? So you you seem really well, emotional. Well, you say and crazy dismissive. things. I mean, the guy in the how street. Do you want me to explain how the guy in the street corner time. who claims the oh, FBI wow. is Real raping his wife? I see him every day at Dirksen like Center. This. I mean, I don't. I get hear his takes too. And it's great. He has a take. Mm-hmm. You know, some takes are crazy. People think yeah. crazy things. All right, let him go. Hold yeah. on. Like go ahead, walking Adam. on water and born of a virgin and ra- uh, being raised from the dead. All I mean, obviously, obviously, things. yeah, the creation of the universe must have never happened because it seems yeah. miraculous and unlikely. I mean, that un- All you miraculous have are the most never ridiculous happened. straw mans. It's not a straw man. You're saying miraculous occurrences that aren't duplicable never yeah. happen. I pointed out that they are. But no, you, 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 you magical like Jewish, Jewish superhero Jewish stones didn't walk down fulfilling Hebrew scriptures, and nobody was ever chosen. But what 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 scripture was fulfilled? Like it wasn't like 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 Christ said that like you know is is is, is Israel is risen? Like you know I am the Jewish Messiah? Like no, that didn't happen. You're the Christian. You're asking me what prophecy did he fulfill? You no, you, you said he fulfilled. You said he fulfilled the prophecy of the Jews, and that he was exclusively a Jewish Messiah. That doesn't make any sense. Like how, uh, how he was, how was he the, the Jewish Messiah, and then they rejected him according to the scriptures. 
And then he went no, to the Gentiles. According, according to the Old Covenant, which was null and void because Christ was Logos. Yeah, Th Logos, this, is, this Logos is how Christians, you, you ask, how does it benefit uh, Judaism, Christianity? How does it benefit Judaism? You acknowledge that they ever had a covenant. You believe that their holy scriptures are the word of God. You worship their deity, the God of Israel, the God no, of Zion. No, you no, proudly bow don't. down no, to the Moshiach. The king, the, the, your Bible says he's the king of the Jews. He is the Torah Moshiach. Meant to conquer the nations. That's his main role. Just yeah, because the because the new Israel is the church, and because he's not right. a tribal god, right. because like he's not he's not because he's not he's not the god of blood and sacrifice. He's not the god of the temple. He is a sacrificial god. He it's literally a blood. The plan is literally an altar of sacrifice, but the covenant is not exclusive to the Jews. That's how uh, can you that, say it's not a sacrificial religion. How can you say it's not? If you want if you want to argue scripture, we can have like another we can have another discussion of scripture. But you're basically oh, you're dropping. I don't know if I. I could do that, but I'd rather just uh, do a presentation because you you don't let me get too many words out. Well, that's because you say crazy shit. You, you haven't proven anything. Crazy Hebrew nonsense, and you haven't proven anything I said to be crazy or even. Yeah, I have. You said, you said you said Christianity is Jewish. Christ is the God of the Jews. You're denying you're that literally Christianity is Jewish. He's, he's a little logical. And before let, that, you said before you said before you said. Let me ask you a question real quick. Since you're this ridiculous denial that Christianity started by Jews. Who were the people waiting for a Messiah before Christianity? Before Christianity? Yeah. So because Jews waited for a Messiah? like Yeah, the when, Pharisees when, were when, waiting for a Messiah. When Logos they incarnated were alive the and, said, and repudiated the Jewish God. Like that's like, that, that's like saying... That's that's like saying that, you know, the people who invented mathematics were Greeks, so we are all Greeks because we do mathematics. Like, that's literally fucking retarded. Uh, that's not at all similar to what I'm saying. It's exactly similar. Hold on, I, you just you realize that you're against like 99.9% .9 of all Christians and theologians and, and scholars everywhere in the world saying that Christianity is not Jewish and has nothing to do with Judaism. I've never heard a single biblical scholar say we're Jews because Christianity is Jewish. I've never heard a single person say that. You're Other than like some weirdo Jew. Christian identity you guy. Call you call yourself the new Israel. You call yourself the new Israel. That's pretty because Jewish. No, that's not no, that's not Jewish. Like the it's, whole concept of an Israel was like a nation state. Is like forty. Is like uh, it, it wasn't even emerged until nineteen forty nine in reality. And it was it was, I, it was, I it was even since the it, since no. the eighteen seventies when it conceptually took root. Like this idea that like you know that that, that conceptually this is the name of a country that exists today where Jews live. So you're Jewish. You're not you're not built for this, son. You're just you're not changing the subject. I didn't say anything about that. No, I, well, no, I'm just telling you, you're not built for this. Like do something else with your life. Oh, wait a minute. You're so triggered, and you haven't proven anything I said you're wrong. Triggered, Brad, like, you're you're at, me, yeah, Brad. you're Bro, you're very, not very emotional. You're not. You're not built very insulting. You're not. I'm not it, insulting it, you. you, you look, look, you're you, not. You won't even listen to a insulting. word I say. You haven't seen any of the material and the information I put out. I don't read no crazy clue, people. Completely can't ignorant. Really, you know I don't nothing about this information stuff. or the debate. Look, 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 look. I'm not insulting you. I have no idea about your personal life, what you're about. Okay, and I don't care. It's not my business. You're not built for this. That's a fact. It's not an insult. All right. Well, is that why I'm much more successful and popular online than you are? What are you, a teenage girl? Okay, at your, at your high school? <laughs> okay. Uh, Romans 3.29. Listen, 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 Hold on, hold on. Can I, can I ask one question? Because this is so important. You can ask you want. Okay, you say Christianity is not Jewish, right? Do you worship the Jewish God? Do you worship the Jewish God? I don't know, because I'm not as popular on light as you <laughs> well, you're, you're saying I'm nobody and I'm not built for this. I didn't say you're nobody. You're, like, I'm you are, over you. you're popular in your high school. <laughs> I, I stand over you. Okay. The, the laugh seems like a cope. Romans 329. Cope trigger. I Look how he tries to filibuster and like, won't even <laughs> let me ask the verse that, that All right, just blatantly shows that Christianity is Jewish. Go All right. Romans 329. It says, or is God the God of Jews only? Is he not? The God of Gentiles too. Yes, of Gentiles too. Yeah, First to the Jews and then the Gentiles. They're his chosen people. Do you believe that the Jews were chosen by God? And how can you deny that you're worshiping the Jewish God after reading Romans? You literally just said it. It's Jews and Gentiles are uniformly in God's domain. Like, I mean, that's not, you, 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 just, you just repudiated your own. Uh, it's Paul asking the Gentiles, is he only our God or is he your God too? No, he said, he God, 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 It doesn't uh, stop at the synagogue what, door. Yes, what, God your, has domain over the Jews you, too. You said you're European, right? You're white, so. I'm not European, I'm a white man. So, 
So the god, the tribal god of the Middle East and the Levant, is that your people's ancestors? Is that their god, or is that the god of the people? God of the isn't Middle an East? ancestor. I don't know what the fuck that means. You don't know what basic words mean. I, I guess not, but I mean, you're more popular at your high school than I am, so I better shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, if if you don't understand why I, I normally I wouldn't, I normally you, wouldn't like say I said, you're I not, not, you're not, you're not what, built for this. I normally no. wouldn't say that, but you're saying that I'm not Sock cut out for this. $10 no, I, mean, I, mean, I don't, I, I've never even clear. heard of you, for one. Was it born? I don't know, I know how big, how many views you get or how successful you are. I wouldn't say you're not cut out for something to somebody that towers over you. you got clout that I don't. I mean, I didn't know I was in a popularity contest, but okay, you're more popular than I am with like random fucking people. I should I send you like a little thing in the mail? Your attitude. I'll send you a pack of gum and like teach you. You're on the kill stream. You're both. I'll send you. I'll send you a pack of gum and like teach you how to chew it. That'll that'll be your popular prize. Is that cool? Let like make things like we squash it then. Yeah. Okay. Send it. Just drop an address on me. I'll send you a pack of gum. All right. Go. Go ahead, Adam. And then somebody brought up something about a Gaza again too. I want to get to that. But. Since we're if we're still talking about Christianity, yeah, yeah, let me I ask. change it. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> do, do you agree that there was a uh, ancient Jews in the Middle East that were chosen by God? You're talking about the Old Covenant. I mean, yeah, obviously. Okay, you think you think God chose them, and He spoke to them through the prophets, predicting a Messiah to come. Yeah, the Messiah did come, and he wasn't the Messiah of the Jews. He was the Messiah of all nations, and that, and thus Logos, and thus repudiated the Old Covenant. I've, okay, I've, I've heard. So all of these different prophecies that Jesus, you believe Jesus fulfilled from Isaiah and Daniel and Zechariah and the Psalms, you agree, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask you the simple question. What's more likely that 2,000 years ago, all of these scriptures— were in front of some Jew or a group of Jews, and they said, let's write a story of a Messiah from the scriptures. So they they make up a myth, they write a script, they come up with a story, or all of these magical things all happen. One requires no magic, just somebody telling a story. So, the no, other one requires all of this magic and chosen people and walking on water and Adam and Eve and at, at the whole shebang. What's more likely to explain these fulfilled prophecies? I don't believe that Jews call themselves the synagogue of Satan and said that we're the enemies of God. No, I don't believe that because that doesn't make any sense. And uh, do, I th do I think that Jews made up that Christ could walk on water? Like, no. I mean, you could argue that that's not possible or that that's confabulation. But the idea... You're Jews not answering my question the, at the, all. The, the, the idea that, Jew, that Jews Can you answer said the question? whoever Jews are claimed... Yeah. This You're man just do you remember what the us, question was? This man, this man who just called us a synagogue of Satan... He was, he was basically yeah. superhuman and could work miracles. No, that's entirely self-defeating. That makes no sense. Right, repeat, no. Okay. Yeah. repeat your uh, question again, and the then question. you can see. Go ahead. What's more likely, the explanation for Christianity that all of these prophecies were really fulfilled by a magical superhero man and the Jews were really chosen and they really are I don't the believe in superheroes. I don't like gay movies, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking right, about. Now, let me finish. Hold on. Go ahead, Adam. Either all of these things were fulfilled, uh, uh, all of these things magically really happened, or somebody made it up. Which one's more likely the explanation? There's not only two explanations. That's like saying, when did you stop beating your wife? Like, you don't get to set the parameters oh, of your crazy shit. Okay, again, he, he won't answer I the will, question. Get, it's, so no evasive. it's so transparent how evasive you're being right now. I'm not being evasive. You're no. just not built for this, man. Like, you're, not, no, wait, you're not built for it, bro. Look at you. Apparently I am, man, because, yeah. like, I, I mean, you're the one who believes in crazy things. Dude. You believe on Hebrew nonsense, man. Where do I start? Yeah, Noah's no, Ark? Hebrew Noah's Ark nonsense, talking man. snakes? Lo Logos is Hebrew nonsense. Talking snakes? Logos, Logos Blood magic, reason, Yom Kippur reason. rituals? If you believe if you believe reason is Hebrew nonsense, I don't know what to tell you. We also think the Jew is like a reason. Superman, so I don't. Do you I believe mean, like the gospels say when Jesus supposedly died, did the saints rise up and walk around Jerusalem? You believe that? I don't know. I mean, it's uh, you, you know, I mean, you're, know. You're, you're the guy who believes that Jews are Superman. So I mean, you believe strange no, things. No, you believe that Jews were chosen by God and can speak the future in prophecy. I believe no, nobody, nobody that they believes came that. up with the creative story based on scripture. The covenant, you the covenant, they're magical. The, not the, me. The, the old Christianity not, not elevates them to a divine status. I just said that they came up with a good psychological myth to destroy their entire claim to divinity, and that makes no sense. Like you're saying, they invented a myth of a Superman who called him the synagogue of Satan. Like that makes that literally makes you're, no you're, sense. You're That's so totally stuck on that. 
It, uh, you know who the synagogue of Satan actually is? Yes, yeah, the Pharisees. It's it's Christians. Uh, you know, that, that's edge lord tough guy stuff. Yeah, sure. But like I said, no, yeah, you, you, they've always viewed Christianity as the you're satanic, you're the most you're the most uh, inversion girl of their religion. You're the most popular girl at no. your online high school, so right. I better I better no, whatever the fuck you say. Yeah. Now, I'm um, trying to focus on the issues, and, and then you stay uh, retarded I gotta, shit like that. I got I to gotta raise up in a minute, Ethan. Is there anybody in yeah. Super Chats or anything who wants to ask something? Yeah, sure, because I, I can't listen to any more of this guy blabbering. It's awful. Right, He's already embarrassed himself show. enough. I don't need to keep Bro, keep you just said you're more – bro, you're an adult man who said, I'm oh more popular God. online than you. I'm don't saying – you're about saying, <laughs> okay. Like, I haven't explained why bro, I said that. You, said, you were a grown okay, man who said, I'm more popular mm -hmm. online than you. Ralph, Ralph, what would you uh, – I shouldn't get you into this, but if somebody that, that was uh, less I'm successful than you online, online and getting you. your message – you tell bro. them they're not cut out for uh, it. When, bro, when they, I don't want to look. look, bro, look like, I like legit, both of you guys. I, I, I'm bro, sorry bro, that it turned out. Ethan, Ethan, uh, Ethan, Ethan. Bro, legit. I'm real easy to find. If you want an audience with me, fucking handle your business. Okay? I don't, I don't, I don't any, need an audience with time, you. Man, anywhere. You're not bringing yeah. anything to the table, man. No, no, no. All right, look, I, know, I didn't well, know I mean, that it would turn out like this. I like both of you guys. Look, you don't stand on shit. You're just pop. You're you're popular online. Okay, guy. Okay. Anyway, what do we got? Ethan. You're just like the 25th Christian that I've destroyed in a debate. No big deal. I'm destroying you. I'm popular at my high school. <laughs> I'm know, the prettiest look. girl at the prom. Look, look, look. I didn't know you guys would. I, I didn't know it would mix quite like this. Uh, so I like everybody here. Um, I, I did have a question from Super Chat. It is a bit yeah, off man. topic from what we talked about, but it came in earlier. It uh, said 1.4 trillion cubic feet of natural gas under Gaza. Actually, more of a comment now that I think of it. Uh, I, I have no idea. What, I mean, I'm sure that's true. I mean, I, I don't. I have no idea. Uh, and then it said um, there. There was another one. I, I think it was a uh, yeah. Sock puppeteer says, "Who knows for certain? Who shall declare it? Whence was it born? Whence came creation? The gods are later than this world's formation. Who then can know the origins of the world?" Uh, suck puppeteer there with the super chat um yeah i mean i i think i covered all the topics really i again i it's christmas show i wish everybody a merry christmas uh and uh, thomas do, can you tell people where to find you yeah man i mean i've been fucking with telegram again and on principle like i realize it's not so great but i know a lot of the fellows like it so you can't find me there they like they arbitrarily fucking smashed me because like these those yuki motherfuckers hate my ass but like now apparently they've like lifted that. So I'm like back on T Gram. You hit me up there, it's just Thomas Graham. Like you'll even find it just by a general search, I think. Um, I'm reasonably active on Twitter or X. Um, it's uh at real capital R E L R E A L underscore number seven H O M A S seven seven seven. I'm 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 on Substack for the moment, but they're I, I'm not fucking happy with how that's going. On this, on the, on the, um, I, for, I don't want to get into it here and bore with you to death, but for now, you can find the pod at real thomas 777 at substack.com. I'm going to drop some, I realize I haven't dropped anything fresh really since the Nico Klaus stuff, but, uh, I promise I will drop like fresh pod shit after New Year's. Um, my workflow got kind of, um, backed up, but well, that's where I'm at. Well, I thank you for coming on tonight. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, Merry Christmas, man. I got love for you. You know that. Yeah, yeah, I got love for you for sure, man. I'm glad we, I mean, it's entertaining, right? Uh, regardless, I think everybody enjoyed it. Uh, now, Adam, where can they find you? Uh, what are you working on for Christmas? And Merry Christmas. I don't know that you, you still I'm going to step out, Ethan. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Don't be a stranger, man. Yeah, that's fine, man. I won't be. Yeah, thank you. Um, now, um, I, you still do something for Christmas, right? Like, I. Like yeah, we got a tree. My yeah, wife yeah, likes I was to do say, all I remember we had this conversation stuff. before. Mm -hmm. That's why I was having a flashback. I was like, I think we talked about this before. Um, so uh, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Do you know what you were doing here, Ralph? Did you know Not that Not quite, happen? man. I knew there would be some friction, but like I didn't yeah. know it would jump off quite like it did. Um, <laughs> I mean, no. He's on Twitter. It's, Impromptu Blood Sports. Well, I did. Well, I mean, when it happens, I have to promote it. I didn't know it would be like this. I thought there would be some... <laughs> butting of the heads but you know sometimes i had no idea if he was in a, even a christian or not yeah well i knew that i didn't know he was a christian yeah okay. so I, I mean i kind of knew the, i was starting shit said, i said listen, that yeah listen, like i mean i'm not gonna let anybody that isn't having the impact that i'm having online say that i'm not cut out for this when i'm dunking on him on every point he's evading everything i'm saying he's straw manning the fuck out of me come on well look i you know i'll, I'll let it speak for itself i didn't i didn't know it would be like that no uh but i mean 
It was kind of cool, though, uh, on Christmas to have a little uh, impromptu that they got heated uh, quick. Mm-hmm. So uh, anyway, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, and you like doing that stuff anyway, right? Like, uh, it wasn't like a, a bad I, thing. I just finished a debate a few hours ago against a Christian guy that says that the Vatican is behind everything and that the, the Jews are just the, the boogeyman. So we debated that. I, I've been debating on these spaces, getting into big debates. Uh, I went against all the groypers the other day, and then right after, a bunch of Jews fired up a space call, uh, attacking <laughs> me, and I had to go dunk on them too. They're just fighting with everybody uh, mm-hmm. right around the holidays, getting fit in fight shape. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate you coming on. We'll see what else we can do. We can set something else up. I didn't really didn't know this one would be so fiery, but I'm glad it was, uh, and it was mm-hmm. fun. And, and hey, dude, you're looking great. I'm loving how, uh, you. how healthy you're looking. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling a lot better, too. I got my weights over here. I've been lifting them during mm-hmm. the show even. So thank you, man. Oh, tell yeah. people where they can find you. Still hosting those fire blood sports yeah. on the kill stream. never know what will happen up on the kill once stream. Again. I was just on against Dingo uh, <laughs> a couple weeks ago as well. That was another That was ban- awesome, uh, too. And it came out of nowhere, too. It was just like, oh, shit. Here it goes. another banger. Yeah, yeah, man. Something. Your content, man. I was telling you this. The Wayne uh, segment we did earlier this year was one of my favorite of the year. Uh, and it's mm-hmm. on this Rumble channel somewhere. That was one of my favorites. Uh, so thank you, man. I'm, I'm wondering, like, where I, I'm I'm waiting for some uh, power chats. Are you doing those still? Yeah, or we no? got a couple. And man, mm-hmm. they sometimes they just zone out these days when I'm doing an interview. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Hopefully they'll too, they'll get a little more excited now. Uh, Come on, I only bring that, the extras so yeah. Ralph will get the the donuts. Right, where, like that shit was guys? fire right there. That shit was fire. Uh, but yeah, I notice sometimes they come in faster when I'm just talking. I think sometimes they don't want to interrupt these days with the TTS uh, coming over the top. Mm-hmm. But uh, thank you, brother. It was a it was mm-hmm. a pleasure uh, having Thanks you on this me, evening. Man. And Merry Christmas to you and your family. All right, you too, man. Thank right. you. Well, Adam Green live on the kill stream. Thomas 777 as well. Whoa! That shit was hot. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.